clean up the Chesapeake Bay affect multiple states and have prompted wide-ranging federal measures. But in Baltimore County, a handful of students are trying to make a difference on their own. ABC2 News' Jeff Hager joins us now with more on that story tonight. Jeff? Well, Kelly, this just wasn't any school project. The students took on a stream, which has been ignored for decades, gaining national recognition in the process. An opening selection by the Gospel Choir didn't give the slightest hint that this assembly at Woodlawn Southwest Academy would be anything but routine. It is my honor now to present the award to this year's grand prize winner. Of the but then an eighth grade science teacher and four of his students learned they had won $10,000. That's $2,000 a piece for a research project aimed at cleaning up dead stream. A water body near the school that lives up to its name as a polluted tributary of the Chesapeake Bay. I just can't believe it because I didn't even expect it and I didn't even know what was going on today. I didn't even know we, we, we did that good of a job that we could win. All I did, I was doing it for fun and then this happened. And to make a change in our community that we can all be proud of. Based on the team's research, the students came up with a plan to remove trash from the stream runoff and to balance the water's pH and oxygen levels. Part of our action plan was community and school and just being a local community. I mean, the Chesapeake Bay is an enormous task to take on, which is impossible for our school. However, we can take on our stream. Of the hundreds of entries to what's called the Belk Service Learning Challenge, the Southwest Academy team set itself apart as one of the three grand prize winners. And this team in particular really expressed a lot of um, forward thinking and a lot of research that went into this project. Now armed with scholarship money, the students can celebrate pumping new life into one of Maryland's forgotten waterways while planning for their own bright futures. Wow, I don't even know what to say. That's a lot of money, and I think I'm going to put it towards a lot of my education, so yeah. That competition extends to 16 states where Belk department stores are located. And co-sponsors include Discovery Education and the International Society for Technology and Education. Jeff Hager, ABC2 News.